And in this particular video, we're going to be talking about division. And this is an interesting little problem where you do not need your calculator. But if you want to use your calculator because you've you kind of seen no other way uh, to figure this problem out without the aid of a calculator, that's perfectly fine. But let me explain what the problem is. So we have a mystery number here, and the digits of that number is 4519. And what we're looking for is one more digit, one more number to fill this place value right here such that this entire number with this number you plug into it or that you find this entire number is divisible by three. So we want to find a number to make this entire number divisible by three. Now, if you don't know what divisible means, I'll explain this here in just one second. Again, I would prefer that you do not use a calculator to figure this problem out, but if you want to use a calculator, you certainly can. But uh, if you can figure this out, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. Matter of fact, there's not just one right answer. Okay, so I'm going to show you one possible correct answer here in a second, and we'll take a look at some others as I explain the solution. Also, if you need math help with the course you're taking, test prep or homeschooling, make sure to check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description of this video. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so uh, before we um, show you one possible correct answer, let's just kind of uh, clear up this word here, divisible. So what does it mean for a number to be divisible by another number? Well, it means that when you divide, let's take 10 for example, and we'll divide 10 by five, okay? And of course the answer is two, but it's two remainder is zero, okay? So 10 is divisible by five because when you uh, do the division, the remainder is zero. That's what it means for a, nu a number to be div um, divisible by another number. So when you divide the two numbers, you have a remainder of zero, okay? And of course, we're looking to take this number whatever digit you put in there, divide it by three, and then whatever the answer is, the answer would have a remainder of zero. So what did you come up with? Well, let's go ahead and take a look at one possible correct answer, and that would be two. Okay, five would be another, and there is uh, even one more, I believe. I just put in two possible correct answers, but I'm pretty sure there is uh, three. But uh, nevertheless, you can always check, to, uh, you know, by using your calculator if you got this correct. So 45192, if you take this entire number and divide it by three, you'll see the answer is 15064, remainder zero. Okay, so this number here is divisible by three because there is no remainder or you have a remainder of zero. So two would be one correct answer. Again, five works as well. And uh, I think nine works. Okay, don't quote me on that. I didn't do that, but there is, um, I'm pretty sure there is one more digit that would make that work. Of course, you can always verify this again using your calculator. But what's the point of this video? Well, the point of this video is not to cover basic division, i.e. Uh, the division algorithm, how to do division. Really, there is a bigger topic I want to get into here, and I'm going to get into that in just one second. But if, in fact, you got this uh, correct, well, let's go ahead and give you a nice little happy face, an A plus, a 100%, and a few stars so you can tell your friends and family that you know a thing or two about division by three. So let's go ahead and get into the kind of main topic that I really want to talk about, and that is divisibility, okay? And more specifically, divisibility rules. So when you study kind of um, basic mathematics, i.e. stuff at the elementary, primary school level, middle school level, somewhere along the line, probably a lot, most of you forgot this, you learned divisibility rules. And these things come in super handy. And there's these rules uh, for particular numbers, not all numbers, but numbers like 2, 5, 3, um, think numbers like that, very common type of numbers that we deal with, where you can just basically check uh, uh, whether a number is divisible by that particular number by following the divisibility rule. So what's the divisibility rule for three? Well, here it is right here. If the sum of the digits of that larger number that you're checking is in fact divisible by three, well then the entire number is divisible by three. So let's go and take a look at a couple of basic examples. So how about 12? Now, hopefully, 
you're like, okay, it's 12 divisible by three. So what, uh, what does that mean again, right? So you're gonna take 12 divided by three. Of course, we know the answer is four, but four remainder zero. So 12 is in fact divisible by three. Of course, we should all know that, right? But uh, let's use the divisibility rule just to kind of verify this or just check this, right? So what's the sum of the digits? Well, the digits here are one and two. So if we take one and two, we add up those digits, i.e. the sum of those digits, we get the answer three. Now what we have to do is say, is the sum of the digits divisible by three? Well, obviously three is divisible by three because the answer is one. Okay, let's take a look at another example. How about 99? Now, hopefully you would say, oh yeah, 99 is divisible by three. But let's just check this using the divisibility rule. So we're going to take the sum of the digits, which is 9 plus 9. 9 plus 9 is 18. And now again, is 18 divisible by 3? Yes, it is. The answer is 6, remainder 0. Okay, so really that is the main um, uh, kind of idea of this uh, um, video is to talk about divisibility rules. Now, again, there are rules for different numbers, uh, again, like two, five, et cetera. I'm not gonna get into all uh, uh, the rest of those, uh, you know, there's quite a bit of divisibility rules. And you do wanna remember as many as possible, but I would say like divisible by three is such a common uh, rule that comes up from time to time again. And it's really uh, handy to know these divisibility rules, especially when you're looking to like, reduce a fraction, or if you got to do a math problem without the aid of a calculator. So if right now you're like, oh yes, I need to know more about this. Let me give you a couple of quick suggestions if you want to know more about divisibility rules. Uh, one, I have additional videos on my YouTube channel about divisibility rules, but I really teach um, this thoroughly along with other basic mathematics stuff in my Math Foundations course, which is a little mini um, kind of crash course uh, review course on basic arithmetic, okay, things like fractions, place value, decimals, you know, basic math operations, divisibility, et cetera, et cetera. So if you need to brush up on all that, just go to my math help program and look for that math foundations course. It will teach you all of that good stuff that we forgot way back in the fourth, fifth, sixth grade. Okay, so let's get back to this prom here, right? So uh, here we have this number, 4519. We're looking for one more digit such that we put a number right here and it makes the entire number divisible by three. Now, if we had a calculator, we could just go like, well, we're looking for a single digit number. We could just start testing numbers, right? We got zero, one, two, three. We just plug in this number right here, take this and go into our calculator, try to divide it by three, see if uh, we have a remainder or not. Oh, this doesn't work, move on to this one, et cetera. So uh, again, that's why in the beginning of this video, I said, well, if you can do this with a calculator, if you know no other way, you know, if you had a calculator, you should be able to kind of just figure this out. And that's kind of a good lesson uh, in mathematics is never be afraid to try to solve a problem in any way possible. Okay. So just because you're like, well, I'm not sure if this is the way, you know, my the teacher, um, you know, wants me to solve the problem, but I think I can get the right answer using this technique. Even if it's not the most efficient technique, always try to figure out a math problem. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at this uh, situation, but this time we're going to be aware of the divisibility rule. So let's go ahead and take the sum of the digits that we know. So what are those digits? Well, four, five, one, nine, and there'll be one more digit. So if we add it up, four, five, one, nine, and then we have this mystery number here, we have to make this entire thing divisible by three. Well, what do we have so far? Well, we have four plus five plus one plus nine. So this is 10 and this is nine. So we have 19 so far in terms of the sum of the digit. Now, some of the digits here, right? But we're not done. We get to add in one more. But right here, you can see is 19 divisible by three? Well, the answer is no. So we need to add a number to 19 such that 19 plus this other number becomes divisible by three. So what if we added one to 19? We would get what, 20? Well, is 20 divisible by three? No, right? How about if we added a two? Okay, two plus 19 gives us 21. Is that divisible by three? Yes, it is, right? 21 divided by three, of course, is seven. So you can kind of 
or express this in kind of an algebraic way. So 19 plus what gives us 21? And 21, again, is a number that is divisible by 3. This would represent the sum of the digits. Uh, and, of course, we're looking for numbers that are, in fact, divisible by 3. Okay. So to solve this basic equation, of course, x would be 2, which is our answer, right? So 2 works. So when we plug in a 2 right here, this entire sum is 21, which is divisible by 3. But that's not the only number, right? What is another number after 21 that's divisible by 3? Well, we just kind of keep going. We're like, oh, 24. 8 times 3 is 24. So that works as well. So 19 plus how much more gets us to 24? Well, you could just solve this basic basic equation and you get 5, right? And you can kind of continue to go on. Uh, you know, uh, again, we're only looking for one single digit. But uh, 5 works. So you can plug in 5 right here and we get 4519. And if you wanted to go into your calculator just to verify this, you'll see that 45195 divided by 3 is 15,000. 065. Okay, so we'll just kind of call it a wrap right here. Just an illustration of the divisibility rule of uh, three. Okay, but again, there is more divisibility rules, and you want to remember, again, as many as you possibly can. Now, when it comes to mathematics, you get, you know, inundated with so many things over the years. A lot of the stuff, you're not going to possibly remember everything, okay? But even when it comes to divisibility rules, try to remember what you can, all right? So I would suggest definitely remembering uh, the divisibility rule for three, uh, the divisibility rule for two, divisibility rule for five. These numbers here you'll kind of want to put into your long-term memory. Okay, so if this video helped you out, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.